Hello and welcome to GameSack. This week we're going to take a look at two of the most popular beat em up franchises in history. Final Fight by Capcom and Streets of Rage by Sega. And we're going to look at what makes Streets of Rage so much better than Final Fight and that's what this episode is going to be all about. Well, I don't think so because I think Final Fight is a better fighting game compared to the Streets of Rayman that, or whatever. Streets of Rage. That does not compute. I mean, Streets of Rage is much better than Final Fight and Come on, I, if, if you think Final Fight is so much better than Streets of yeah, Rage, I do. I, I, show, show me what makes it so much better. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Final Fight, the super awesome arcade game where you could play two players simultaneously and choose from three playable characters, was finally brought home to the Super Nintendo. But, my friends, that is where the problems began. Because on the port, they took out one of the playable characters, Guy, and they only made it uh, playable as a single player game. Yeah, but the Sega CD version has all three characters and you can play two players simultaneously. God, damn it, Joe. Rules. Get out of here. This is my segment, would you? Sorry. Bro. So, after a long period with bitchy, complainy game players, Capcom finally released Final Fight Guy, where awesomely they included Guy as a playable character, but they took out Cody and they still left it as a one-player game. I can't believe you bought both of those games. Why did you buy Final Fight Guy? You actually paid $60 for that? No, I paid $3 at the thrift store. Get oh. the hell out of here. These were awesome games. They had huge characters, long levels, tons of action, lots of power-ups and pickups. It was just what you wanted in a beat-em-up. This is where Sega finally saw what a cash cow this was and decided to totally rip it off and make Streets of Rage, which it's obvious this was a blatant ripoff. After Capcom saw the monumental success of Final Fight, they released Final Fight 2 with Hagar, no Guy, and no Cody, but with Carlos and Maki. This game was still a good beat em up with uh, some pretty bad music, but it also included some cool background stuff such as Chun Li eating noodles at a noodle shop and Zangief before his world fighting class days fighting on the street. Still another great game. And then here comes Final Fight 3, which pretty much continues the tradition of Final Fight 2 with slightly better music, better gameplay, four playable characters this time, Hagar, Guy, and two people I don't care about. And that pretty much wraps up the Final Fight series. It's pretty good. <laughs> And as you can see, Final Fight is definitely one of the better beat-em-ups in the series compared to Streets of Rage. What do you think, Joe? Hey, Joe. 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 Okay. Oh, sorry, man. I had to put these in my ear because that music was just awful. What the hell is with that? Is, is all that reverb? What the hell? Well, it's true. It does have bad music, but you know that you know is just a small portion of what what makes up a game. So, well. On that note, uh, let's take a look at the Streets of Rage series and I'll show you why it mops the floor with Final Fight. Oh, I'm going to need your cotton then, I think. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're not going to need that. It has good music. Check it out. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Streets of Rage. Yes, it is a ripoff of Final Fight, I have to admit that. There are a few characters that look almost identical. But Streets of Rage, it was a little bit choppy and the characters were small. You can't really see how choppy it is on YouTube, but it's still really fun to play and it has amazing music that just really gets you into the game. And it has two-player beat-em-up madness and it's just really fun and addicting to play with a friend if you actually, you know, have any. <laughs> Streets of Rage 2 was totally awesome, a huge improvement. It had 16 mega power, whereas the first game only had 4. But man, this game is so much better. The characters are a lot bigger, it has a much, much better soundtrack. Not that the first one is bad or anything, but Axel has a special move, and it's definitely my favorite special move in the game. He dedicates the move to his grandfather. I mean, just listen to what he says every time he uses it. This 
This game is called Bare Knuckle in Japan, and at one point in the game, you're smashing bare knuckle arcade machines. And of course, when you do, you gotta pick up all the money because the games make so much money. But that just goes to show you how this game destroys the first Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage 3 is kind of a letdown. But the Japanese version, called Bare Knuckle 3, is much better. Granted, I still don't think it lives up to the first two games. The US version of the game was much more difficult and had some other changes that don't really make any sense, but you know, the marketing department, they never ever know what they were doing, especially back in the 90s. It is a fun game, I'll admit that. It has lots of good moves, lots of enemies, lots of playable characters and unlockable things. But the music, the music, it, it seems kind of broken. Still though, any game where you can punch a bulldozer and make it go backwards, you know, that, that's gotta be a pretty good game. It's just not as good as the others. And as you can see, that's what makes Streets of Rage such an awesome beat-em-up series. I'd love it if they made a proper Streets of Rage 4, but I don't think that'll ever happen, but we can always hope. What do you think, Dave? What the hell are you listening to? Dude, what the hell are you listening to? Oh, uh, Yoshi's Island Part 2. Dude, you're getting your groove on way too much for Yoshi's Island 2. Let well, me see, I what am. the hell? What? Streets of Rage? You're listening to Streets of Rage? What's that you say? We forgot a Final Fight game? An officially released one? Well, no, we didn't. We just didn't want to talk about it at all because really, there are no words. So now, we present to you a brief look at Final Fight Revenge on the Sega Saturn. Oh, dear lord. Final Fight Revenge! Final Fight Revenge on the Saturn. What were they thinking with this? This game was supposedly the last official Saturn release in Japan, and it never made it over to the US, thank goodness. But boy, is it just a mess. It requires a 4 megabyte RAM cartridge to help it be so awesome. And, you know, it's just another bad looking polygon fighter that really has no right to exist. Just just sit back and watch it for a second. Sweet! Sweet! 